Hi. Good evening, Aparna. Good evening. Where are you from? We are meeting for the first time, isn't it? Yes, yes. We are yes. Where, are, where are you from? I'm from Kolkata. And what do you do? I'm an IT professional. I work in Cognizant. All right, all right. So let me introduce myself. My name is Ammu Alice and I hail from Kerala. Right. Right. So are you, is it, it looks, I'm giving, I'm getting some temple vibes. Is it a temple or is it your home? Oh, I can see a table fan. <laughs> oh, okay. yeah, it's, uh, I mean, beside, where I'm uh, sitting uh, right now, hmm. just beside that, there's a temple, our house temple only. Oh, right. Like, is it like a puja room where you do mm -hmm. the puja the ritual? Yes. Yes, yes, right. yes. And I feel that you're a religious person. Yes. <laughs> no, not religious. I would say you're a devotional person. Correct? Yes, correct. I'm right. a devotee. Yes. Devotee you're of Shri Radha Krishna. Shri Radha Krishna. Krishna. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So uh, would you like to tell me something about you before we start with the conversation? What are your hobbies and what kind of a person are you? Okay. Mm. Uh, so as I'm a devotee, so I'm a very... Uh, I, I I like to be very simple and hmm. uh, I I love uh, to lead a simple life and uh, as far as my hobbies are concerned I love singing so hmm. that, that is my hobby I really love singing and uh, what else uh, are you a trained are you a trained singer yeah I actually uh, yeah you can say that I mean I have been uh, uh, you know what is it I means studying not learning singing for uh, since a long time but not uh, not now i hmm. mean i'm not doing that uh, right now all right i have been singing yeah i have i have been <laughs> all, all right all right okay okay all right so are you in the habit of going through the session notes do you do that i do that but today no. i did not get time at all you know fortunately or unfortunately today all the learners I met since today morning, everybody told me the same thing. I normally do, but today I did not get the time. <laughs> All right, not a problem. So, oh, maybe because it is a Monday after a long yeah, weekend. Like yeah, exactly. Weekend. Yes, right. So today's topic is risk. Risk. So are you a person who normally take risk? No. No. <laughs> It just, ha it just um, means I don't take, but it uh, kind of happened with in my life that uh, risks are coming and I have to maybe take it, but I don't deliberately uh, think about it that I have to take the risk. Hmm. This is like that. Yeah. Okay. Let's say you have two choices. You have two options regarding, uh, let's say you got, uh, you got selected from, you said Cognizant Center. Let me take another two IT companies. Okay, two, two good IMNC companies. You got two offers. Now here you have to make a choice, isn't it? Yes, mm -hmm. that choice is based on certain parameters. Right, right. It is a risk that you're taking with your choice and whatever the consequences you have to bear. Right, right. right. Any such example from your life in terms of personal or professional life? Yeah. Maybe I am I am I'm I'm a person who uh, don't think uh, much about the consequences. Maybe, but mm -hmm. it sometimes it 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 sometimes uh, it's good actually. Uh, we should <clears throat> think about the consequences as well. Uh, but uh, I think uh, I don't remember anything like uh, taking uh, like if I talk about my job only. There was mm. another job, but you know, uh, it's not taking risk. Uh, that that was not. This company is much more better than that one, so I took this one. So <laughs> <laughs> it was not a risk. I I just cho right. chose the right. right one. How long have you been with Cognizant? Six years. Six years. I don't stay in a company for more than one year. <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> I think the last company that was years back, a decade back, I was there with one particular company for three years, but I was so bored. I was so bored. So now I'm open to take risk. But at during my young age, early 20s, I was very much reluctant. How are you sustaining for six years in a single company? I'm a very patient, maybe. Then. <laughs> uh -huh. I don't know, but uh, yeah. I, I love the, I love the work here and I'm very, I'm not uh, Maybe I'm not that aspirant as you 
maybe that that is the no, no, I'm, not at all, no, I'm not at all a person like that i don't think about the consequences but i get bored very easily aren't you not getting bored with no, the current no. you don't no i don't get bored very easily oh, i mean no. i i really uh, feel that it's very important to uh, to uh, sustain uh, to sustain uh, something for a long time and then only you can get not not this one job can be changed and people change change a job and they get a hike uh, yes. so that that's very good but uh, if i talk about other aspects of life then i think mm-hmm. it's very important to be uh, sustainable sustainable no. correct no 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 it, it is very important to stay you mean to say stay in a particular yeah, yeah. stay yeah. in a particular for a long period of time for a long period of time mm-hmm. maybe to understand it in a thorough manner people are different mm-hmm. and i feel yes. everybody's journey is beautiful and unique so i yes. think you are so designed in such a way you have to stay in a, uh, the particular job or domain learn it in depth mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. i really love like it. it yes you love yes. it for me i need changes it's like i need to once i have completed one particular task it's like i've learned it now i want mm-hmm. something new yeah. otherwise i feel some sort of a stagnancy <laughs> but i think yeah. cognizant is a company which offers a lot of uh, scope for other opportunities yes exactly lot of yeah. learning scopes lot of uh, lot of other scopes yeah there are many scopes you know Mm. so you don't get bored very easily i think yes yes that is a that is a great thing maybe that is why you're staying back in this yeah, company that, that, probably that is the reason yeah. right i know a couple of a uh, couple of my other colleagues who have actually said very good things about pubnisant so yeah, that is very that's a very company. good company actually i love mm-hmm. i love the company so i'm st- sticking with it for, since my uh, since the starting of my career you know this is the only company you've worked so far Yes, yes, this is the only company. Oh, <laughs> then you don't have any benchmark to compare, isn't it? Mm, oh, yeah. Right. Okay, let's see, let's see. All right. So, what sort of a person are you? What do you basically enjoy doing other than working? I enjoy doing uh my I enjoy singing, but uh, these days my uh, voice is totally damaged i i don't know maybe uh, because of my uh, i mean uh, i i don't practice con- uh, daily on a daily basis yes consistently. Yeah, consistently so that is why my voice uh, became so harsh it's not that uh, no it is it is very sweet and soft in my no, voice is a lot of bass it's it's quite easy to identify that you are a singer <laughs> Oh really? I mean, like, oh thank it's you. Soft. It's very soft and soothing. See, majority of the people have voice like mine with a little bit of bass and my voice is not at all soft. I I'm, I'm like this and I'm okay with no, that. So voice is fine. Oh, well, that is okay. Oh, but it's not I'm not too much of a fan of my voice. But that's okay. But you you have a very soothing voice and the way you're framing the words is also very soothing to hear. Oh that's a compliment thank you <laughs> but uh, yeah so uh, these days my voice uh, i mean uh, my singing voice was uh, uh, far better than the, far better than my uh, talking voice i mean earlier i'm talking about earlier but uh, n- uh, nowadays i i cannot sing because of uh, maybe because of the lacking of my practice mm. so uh, i i really love uh, singing and i really uh, enjoy singing mm. or listening to the songs or uh, learning new songs you know and uploading songs on youtube as well i have a youtube channel but i have very less amount of subscribers <laughs> <laughs> and is it is it like basically the content is your singing videos yes yes my singing oh, videos right, right. and i i think it would be devotional songs yeah and nowadays it it's devotion i mean uh, ever since i have become a devotee mm. from then i started uh, uploading the devotional songs only but uh, back uh, in my uh, i mean uh, when i was uh, i was not a devotee uh, at that point of time i used to how to say this i mean yes. when i was not devotee so i used to uh, upload the movie songs and all so how to oh, say how can i say yeah, like you can say that after becoming a devotee after mm-hmm. becoming a devotee i stopped uploading Um, yeah. Masala songs. I think movie songs are normally termed as masala songs. <laughs> okay, masala songs. Yeah. All oh, right. 
So uh, you mean uh, you mean you recently became a devotee? Not recently. I uh, from two thousand and two thousand and nineteen. Yeah, eight nineteen. Yeah. Right. Something something happened in your life. Oh, maybe that is too personal. Let's skip that. Right. It's always like that. Devotion is always there within us. But some turning points. Some I was a de devote. I was a religious person, but not devotee who wears the tilak and you know the, this kanti mm -hmm. and all. I used. I I. I was. I mean, I I, I did not. Uh, Oh God! Sometimes it's so difficult to uh, frame no, a sentence, you know. Relax uh, and frame. Ah, uh, concentrate on your words and your thoughts. Ah, uh, sometimes. Ah, uh. I mean, ah, uh, I uh, since my childhood, I was a religious person because my mother is very religious. But I was not. I was not a devotee who wears tilak and all. You can hmm. see tilak on my forehead, right? Right. But you I regularly on a daily basis. Yeah, on a daily basis. And is it uh, is it acceptable at workplace? Yes, of course. Oh, was it? Why not? Yes. Oh no, no, I I I was not really sure because it's not very common to see people, isn't it? Yeah, it's not yeah, very so that's common. That's what I was not very sure. That is okay. Yeah, that's okay. Absolutely. Okay, right, right. And I think get... South Indian people hmm. also put tilak no, on their forehead. No, no, no. I've seen that. Uh, that I don't know no, what is it. The tilak is something. I mean, it's not. It's not like this. Maybe oh, it's yes. different. But yes. I have seen. Maybe I have seen a lot of uh, people. Uh, in are cognizant only in Chennai. I think. I don't. I, I'm not sure. They, they wear that white color one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah. That is very common in Kerala. Okay, but uh, the this sort of a tilak, I don't know. Is it like something spe special, like the U shape? Uh, this is uh, this is something which uh, Vaishnav. Uh, Vaish do you know what does Vaishnav mean? Yes, yes, I know, I know all that. Shaiva yeah, Shaiva, so this is this that. is something which Vaishnav people wears. Oh, you know, right, right. Vaishnav people wear people wear. plural yeah. wear. Yeah. Very, very, right. right. Oh, right. Oh, exactly. Right. And what is that? Uh, what is that chain called? Is it? Does it have uh, a name? Tulsi mala, Tulsi kanti. Oh, it's it made, it's of... made of uh, Tulsi means. Tulsi, uh, Tulsi seeds. Yes, Tulsi seeds. Oh, right, right, right. What I is would... the English English term for Tulsi? Tulsi is Tulsi. It's a name of a tulsi plant, is isn't it? Yeah, You're it's name about... of plant, right, right. Yes, yes. It's a name of name is same. I normally address Tulsi as Tulsi Ma. I don't know why. <laughs> for me, Tulsi Ma. Tulsi Ma. For me, I feel that it. I don't know. I. I. For me, I am allocating it to a gender. I don't know why. <laughs> right. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, ma means mother, right? Yes. Uh, you. Ma. I think you. Uh, what you call your mother? Ma. No, I call her mummy. Mummy, but I don't know why. But I was taught as a as a child to address her mummy. But I don't like that mummy. I like to call her amma. But it's not coming yeah. naturally. It's not coming. Okay, okay. <laughs> and I'm even sorry. if I call, and even if I call her amma, she'll not she'll not listen to me. She'll not address, because she's not used to listening that. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. How do you address your mother? Ma, ma, ma. ma. right. Huh. And father, yeah. Baba. So I think you people call your father. You should call your father Appa, right? Uh, as for as for Malayalam, it is Appa and Amma. Amma, right? But you know, modern world, modern mommy family. Mummy and dad. Mummy and daddy. <laughs> <laughs> and these days I'm seeing uh, these days I'm seeing others as dad as well. Yeah, dad. <laughs> right, that is true. Right. So I can see that you're a fluent speaker. Sometimes you are getting stuck, and then uh, you are hesitant, isn't it? Whenever you are getting stuck, you are immediately taking a break and telling me, "Oh, I don't know to frame." You know to frame. Immediately relax. Immediately okay. relax, and then continue with the sentence. Even if you make yeah. mistakes, it is fine. But you are going to continue. Right. 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 I could identify only singular plural error. Singular hmm. plural, uh, isn't it? Yes. Right from the beginning, I I, yes. I identified that one. Hmm. So where exactly are you finding it challenging to converse in English? I mean, at workplace. At workplace, I don't uh, face any kind of challenge. Sometimes I face, uh, but that is very occasionally uh, when uh, some. Uh, that is also th that too uh, for some people like uh, the Americans, you know. 
Hmm. Some of them has so they are fa- very fast, and sometimes it 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 gets uh, difficult for me to understand. But uh, I don't feel uh, challenge. But the uh, my uh, problem is that I just want to be as fluent as uh, the people uh, from English medium background. You know, I I I am from a Bengali medium background. I mean, the schooling mm-hmm. I have done from Bengali medium. So I see uh, the people from English medium background. They're very fluent, and they they're like. Uh, The the words are flowing out from their mouth, and they're so effortless, less, you know. Uh, yeah. I mean, um, so I think uh, I I want to be as fluent as them. So that the that only, is why I'm. <laughs> that is why you're here. The only difference between you and the others is that they have had a lot of practice. You mm. have just start, that's the only difference. Other yeah. than that, everything is the same. So with more practice, you'll just become confident. You are a fluent speaker, but I think a little bit of lack of confidence is there. Yes, mm. yes, that's yes, right. Yes, that you will overcome. You spoke well today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. So my observation is this: focus on the singular plural. Mm-hmm. Other than that, all good. What are your plans after the session? I think the session will get ended now. Not a problem. Anyway, it was yeah. great meeting you. Yeah, you same here. You. Uh, we meet yes okay. yes definitely thank you shubhratri what is it i said shubhratri oh shubhratri yeah yeah shubhratri <laughs>